there's a lot going on with Blizzard's Diablo 3. We know it'll have a real money auction house, require a constant internet connection to play, and have a PvP mode in addition to the regular campaign. And while we still don't know when it will actually launch, or when the beta will be ready, we did find out what'll be in the beta, a short section of the campaign around the town of Tristram that's basically the first half of Act 1. Tristram, it seems, is getting assaulted by the undead, so it's up to you to go knock out a Skeleton King to put an end to it. In the beta, you can do this by yourself or with friends, using any of the game's five character classes. The Barbarian, the Witch Doctor, the Demon Hunter, the Monk, or the Wizard. The basic concept of the game is similar to what you might remember from past Diablos. Kill stuff really fast with cool powers, take the loot that drops, and either sell it or equip it. Then repeat. It's not the most mechanically complicated game, but it's addictively fun. While the basic gameplay is similar, Diablo 3 changes quite a bit about how you customize your character. There are no attribute or skill points in Diablo 3. As you level, new skills will unlock and your basic attributes will automatically increase. Instead of making decisions about which skills to power up, you instead need to make decisions about which skills to set active, as well as how to modify them. Skills come in two forms, active and passive. For each character class, you'll eventually unlock six active slots and three passive ones, which can be slotted with any skills you want at any time. Rune stones can be fitted into active skills too, which can dramatically affect how the skill functions, turning something like a beam attack into a defensive shield. Experimenting with all the different effects to find your ideal character build seems like it's gonna be a big part of the game's appeal. The encounters feel greatly varied, as you'll rarely get attacked by only one enemy type. The beasts that assault you in the beta have a mix of attack patterns, from fat blobs that explode into worms when killed, to those that charge, to those that fire arrows from afar. You'll fight in dark dungeons and across wide open outdoor spaces, and on occasion run into more powerful special enemies that drop more valuable loot. The sheer variety of ways to customize your character class, even at low levels, and the flexibility of the skill system makes it easy to switch your gameplay style very quickly. I can't wait to fully level a class and get a feel for how many different ways there are to play. Of course, with the addition of a player-driven, real-money auction house, it makes the loot all the more important. Not only will they power up your character, but also be a way for you to potentially make a real-world profit. Definitely an interesting spin on loot dropping. For much more on Diablo 3, from the specifics of the skill system to the functionality of the auction house, head over to IGN.com.